No one else's character and what they've done should be so important and impactful to you that it taints your character and what you do because you're only responsible for your character. You're only judged by your character. If someone else has lived their life in the mud, I don't have to muddy myself with them by doing something as demonic as celebrating their death. I don't have to RIP either. I can just say nothing. I've never in my life said I'm glad Hitler's dead. I can be happy that a person's negative actions have ceased without celebrating their death. Why? Because I care about me. Some people have no idea who they are because they have spent their entire lives reacting, letting other people's actions define their actions and who they are. Daddy didn't love you, so now you don't love anybody. Partner broke your heart, so now you're cold towards anyone you're in a relationship with. You're still under the bondage of what they did to you because you've let their lack of character suck the good sense and decency out of you. And you know what makes it even more all right? Everyone's doing it. Everyone's making memes and foul comments, so it's okay. I will too. And once you've done something now, you got to defend it in it because this isn't the generation of self-reflection. It's the generation of deflection. I've seen people describe what's happening on social media as people processing their trauma. You do know that's what everyone's doing all the time, right? Serial killers are processing their trauma when they kill others. Not every way a person processes their trauma is good. Some need calling out. I have been speaking on systemic oppression for some time. I understand a lot of the intricacies of it and how it's deeply affected people. Uh, and I ain't got nothing to say about people choosing to inform people on colonialism at this point. But celebrating or mocking death? No way. I don't care who would or wouldn't celebrate my death. I'm me, not them.